Hello everyone, welcome back to Enter the Gungeon with me Flick. The hay fever is quite bad and I'm on hay fever medication edition. I think last time I said I was going to play as the pilot, but I'm actually in the mood to play as the convict. So let's do that. So yeah, apologies, but I'm going to sound a little bit congested because hay fever, etc. Can't help it. My voice will get warmed up as we go, and we are just going to jump into a run because I spent my credits at the end of the last episode. How did that go anyway? I can't remember now. I've been in a Dark Souls 3 haze, so my gungeon runs are uh, a little bit vague in my memory at the moment. I, I think we did well. I think we got to floor 4? Maybe? Anyway, I need to get back in the habit. I got asked, by the way, if I'm using mouse and keyboard or controller. I am using mouse and keyboard. It's the way I prefer to play twin six shooters on PC, for the most part. I do know that apparently the controller gives you aim assist, which is all the more reason to use mouse keyboard. To be honest, I'd rather be a good shot than rely on the computer to be a good shot. Yes, it'll mean I miss sometimes, but then I deserve it if I get hit as a result. Well, I suppose you could also say, hey, some of the guns have artificial inaccuracy, and that is entirely true. Look no further than the pilot's starting gun, which is terribly inaccurate. Been forgetting about the son off. Did I kill that? No. There we are. I've been rethinking my strategy for the first floor. We do know that if I can get two keys and find some way to put out the fireplace, there's a there's a secret door. That's what I remember doing last time. But because I didn't have the two keys, I couldn't get in it. I don't know what's in it. I don't know if it's worth ignoring both chests on the first floor just for the sake of getting it. And that's the big kicker. I guess I'll look into trying to get the, the fireplace thing if I get another key. I am willing to buy one from the shop if I need to. I'd rather just get one to drop, to be honest. By the way, there was another Gungeon patch this morning as well. I looked at the patch notes, there was nothing major. They were just fixing some known bugs. Like, apparently the Kill Pillars boss, you can injure them with blanks before entering the battlefield, which is quite amusing. Not anymore, but apparently that's what you could do prior to the... Wow, what was ammo I can't use? I think it was the, the 1.03 patch, I think we're up to now? I'm not sure. It's the, like, the third major patch. Typical, it's not a green chest, it's a better rarity chest. As a convict, you can just do the first floor without getting a better gun and still be reasonably well off on the second floor because the sawn off isn't terrible. It's not great either, but it's not terrible. The first one should be dead. I've got a shotgun too, let's be best friends! Hmm, where's my shop at? Clearly the shop in the other item room, but I can only be in this direction. Also, that was a really close boss to where I started. Easy room. First floor in general's very by the books now. But if I am going to go off on random tangents, this is the floor to do, because concentration is required the deeper in we get. On bosses and just the deeper in we get. So here's the shop. Is there a key? There is a key. There's the gun selling guy. Or sorry, the guy you sell guns to, I mean. We're still going to try and get one naturally. And I also want to see what the rarity of the other chest on the floor is. Ah, so here's the fireplace room. I wonder if I could get you to, like, hit it or something and that could do it. That did not extinguish it. You're not going to do it either. So, where does that leave us? These barrels, they don't have water in them, do they? No. Hmm. Maybe there's a barrel nearby? I refuse to believe that the only way to do it is to have the super soaker or a similar ice weapon. Maybe it can... Whoa! Okay, well, I'm not rolling that back there. Maybe this, though. Can I... It, it keeps going. Hang on, I need to change it right now. This way. Oh, well, that is how you're supposed to do it. Right? No. Damn it. I thought I was being so clever. Explosions don't do it. It has to be water. Bugger. 
Is there a special barrel that has water in it? That's obviously explosive as well. Those are explosive barrels too. He killed himself. Uh, there's a body of water, but... Hmm. Right, so we've just got a crappy brown chest. Did I miss something back here, perhaps? How tedious is it going to be if there is something I have to move from down here, though? No, no, I'm not going to do it this time. Which means I don't necessarily need to buy that other key. I'll, I'll take the blue chest first because it's rare, it is better, so there's a better chance of getting something good. Not a mimic. Yeah. Oh, hey, the mahogany. Right, yeah, okay, this is fine. I'm still not sure if I want to buy a key now. We'll fight the boss first because we could get one naturally. And our boss is... Gatling Gun. So yeah, I had this gun. It was on one of the streams I did that I had this gun, I believe. The acorns it fires injures enemies, as does the leaves, which is nice. Hey, I remember to use the Molotov. He's still on fire, actually. Wow. I saw that. You, you don't only aim at me. You aim where I'm going. You little shit. Uh, did you see that? His bullets were coming out from behind him. I'm 100% certain that just happened. Something weird went wrong there. Yeah, look at that. He aims a little bit in the direction you're heading. Gotcha. Flawless. Ooh. Achievement unlocked 20, uh, 25 out of 50 for Castle, castle Crasher Achievement. I'm not sure what that's for. Vertebrae 47 Nervous Yet. I have not had this before. Oh, oh, that's right, we unlocked the commando. Now I never remember what I spent all my hegemony credits at. An abomination, this dark weapon was assembled from the fallen adventurer's spinal column and an AK-47 frame. When Nyun was first exiled from his homeland, he was heartbroken in his pain, he turned to the gungeon. Oh! The bullets it fires are, are connected by a chain. Interesting. We have so much money for the first floor, bloody hell. Is the Prime Primer there? I wouldn't mind buying it. That's the next floor. Well, we're definitely going to get enough next floor, so I might as well buy the key and open the chests. I find my array of weapons acceptable, so I'd love to just get like a passive in here. A table tech rage would do. You know, anything like that. Another gun is fine, I could always sell it. Don't believe I've seen this before. Ah, bullet time dodge this, but it's inactive, so it'll slow time when I use it. To enable the activate or to slow down time. I will take that instead of the Molotov. Getting uh, a couple of extra seconds to dodge a bullet could be the difference between a flawless and not. So yeah. We'll hold our money for the next floor. We'll use the mahogany to clear rooms and we'll use the Verta thingy on floor two's boss. We'll, we'll gauge the damage and then decide for third floor whether or not it's a boss weapon or a floor weapon. Gungeon proper. And yeah, I might, I might buy the primer and we'll try and take it down to floor 5. I don't know if this one is going to have the legs to go that far. I guess we'll see. 100% organic, bitch. Oh, bounced off the wall there. Oh, I got hit. Well, if it ain't a boss, it don't matter. Where are those grenades coming from? Oh, they jump across. <laughs> Hang on. Off the back wall. No. Nope. Off the back wall. No. Nope. What a waste of ammo. I see they've also fixed the, the bug with this gun as well. At one point, I'm not sure when, in the stream when I had this, after reloading a couple of times with it, the clip stopped filling up after I reloaded. You still had the bullets, but the display on the right there didn't fill up. well. So I need 110 if I do want to buy the Prime Primer. We are going to get that for sure. Even if we only get like one pair of room, we're going to get it. 
The leaves don't do as much damage as the acorn, I'm almost like 100% certain on that. But it comes with such a big ammo capacity as well, it's really good. It's almost like a shotgun and a grenade, a grenade launcher mixed together, that's what this is. Well, not even a grenade launcher though, because it does bounce off of walls with the acorn. So, I don't know, a bouncy grenade launcher? Either way, it's handy. We'll just walk. Let's go this way. I should probably try out the space item to know how long a slowdown it gives me prior to the boss. It slows me down as well, actually. I was expecting me to move at normal speed still. So it's not as good as I was expecting. I'm Trinity when I want it to be Neil. But oh well. It might still come in handy. Oh, grizzled veteran. Did I just one shot that sniper? Acorn bombs, go! I know you're getting buffed, but still, where is the little shit? There he is. Hello, Mr. Sniper. I did one shot those snipers, and we got a free key! So there's our shop. I think it always has to have the Prime Primer on the second floor, but I might be wrong about that. I am not... Oh, oh, oh you're going to taunt me with the Winchester, though? Shit. I really, really, really like the Winchester. Tabletop, uh, tabletop site is the one that slows everything down, isn't it? Ah, so I need like, what, 110 plus 43, 152. We're going to try and get to 152. It's, it's doable because we had so much money off the first floor. The acorns actually also destroy bullets because they count as an explosion. I say it's possible and we get our first room, I think maybe ever, in this run so far, but didn't drop any money upon completion. Yeah. Took advantage of the rage up there, or the damage up from rage. Alright, there's a little bit of cash. Is 152 looking likely right now? No. So if I had to choose between the Prime Primer and the rifle that I love so much, well, we're going to get it. So something here. It's not a mimic. It's a passive, I guess. Shotka Cola Speed Up. I'll just see if it has any fluff text to it. Highly caffeinated, save the cap. A speed up is good. Against certain bosses, it can be a lifesaver. that it? Two enemies and one coin? Or one shell casing? Rubble crumble. If it means being able to get the Winchester and the Prime Primer, I'm absolutely willing to forgo getting a key for the second chest on this floor. Ow. Let's get rid of you. Alright, we've got a bit of cash there. I guess we'll go down to the room on the bottom right here. A little unfortunate that I've taken three hits on this floor so far. It's just this room. We haven't cleared every room, have we? No. No, we can't have. We've only found one item room. That's the only thing about the acorn. I can't dictate where it fires from out of the fan. Sometimes it's in the middle, sometimes it's above, sometimes it's below. hundred and forty two? No, hundred and forty one. So there's our other item room over there, we're just gonna fight around to it. Not being able to one shot snipers. Oh, and yeah that one did get one shot. Oh come on, so close. A couple more lucky drops. I hate this room. Had it before, don't like it. Oh, actually, this one didn't have the second wave. Okay. Not a mimic. 
Oop. Ah, that's the last room as well. We're not going to get enough from the boss. Oh, was the gun seller there? I don't think the boss is going to drop four. But I guess we're going to find out. Because I'm going to just go for it as is. With this gun. And we'll see how it goes. Remember, I've got bullet time. It's the gun holder. Um, were those coming back at me in an aggressive way? Or... Or boomerang more damage type of way? The bullets are linking together. Oh, they destroyed the rockets instantly, so I like that. Matrix! Seems to be doing a lot of damage as well, but that could just be because the shots are all linking and then pulling back on each other. I rolled... I pressed down... I pressed up, rather. I just had my flawless stolen from me by the game not realising what button I was pressing. God damn it. It would have been easy as well. Screw you. That was a flawless. The game stole it from me. On the plus side, we did get enough money. And we got keys. Oh, and we got the alien blaster! Or alien engine, whatever. I like this gun. Although, if we have the Winchester, what do I need this for? Okay. Oh, wait, yeah, the other chest. I forgot I can open it now. But now I wouldn't mind getting a, a gun muncher to maybe eat, like, the sawn off and... Eh. We're out of ammo almost for the break. <laughs> Pardon me. Oh, the me oh, we're getting the Mega Man. I wish I'd known that was in there before I did the boss. This is a fantastic boss killer weapon. We have got a great assortment of weapons. Now the only sticking point for this run is my relatively low HP. But between Alien Engine and Winchester Rifle, we should be able to do pretty easy room clears. There's no hearts that I left on the floor now. Our goal isn't necessarily to guarantee a win here. Our goal is to get to the forge and hand in the Prime Primer, because then I've done one step towards creating the, the V-Bullet, or whatever it's called. And I've got my Winchester, which I like a whole lot. It's better if I was the Marine, but that's okay. Or if I had some kind of just latent damage up. There's very few just damage up passives in this game. I believe I've found only one so far, and it was part of like an all stats up equivalent. Now, if we get ammo, I will probably put it into the, the Vertebrake 47, because it seemed to be doing fantastic damage against the boss. We don't stop here, we keep going over here, and then we get him. It's the little shits that the tank enemy spawns. Get him! Oh, there's a buffer somewhere. Oh, there. I could have just dropped the stone on him immediately. In fact, I'm going to do that. So, quite a few ways we can go here. Let's try down here first. Oh, is that a thing full of water? That's the kind of thing I need to find on the first floor, if so. No, that's poison. Alright. Come get some. God, I love this gun. Oh. Well, there's no need for me to be in there. Wait, what's a red one for? Oh, so they just all annihilated themselves there. I didn't really do anything. Shot, I think that is. Yeah. Don't want that. I want that. What a shame. We get a random chest drop, which is, has to be among the rarest outcomes for a room. And it's garbage like that. Oh well. Get rid of the Squidward things, first of all. Did I get them both? I did. I 
forgot just how close you have to be for that to hit anything. He's almost done. Since I'm perfectly safe, I might as well use my crappy gun. Now in the shop on this floor, it's very likely I'm going to have to buy help. I'm fine for guns. Oh, speaking of, there's also a locked door here. Hmm. I'll see what's in the shop first because I might need to buy another key. Skull spitter, poison pistol, whatever it's called. There is a key and it costs 35. I will buy the key. How much are you selling them for? 28 and 28. I'll probably end up buying those half hearts by the end of the floor. We are going to open this and we'll see what it leads to. He had no ammo for sale, so that kind of ruins my chances of using the... Oh, oh damn it. Just opened up into this guy who's charging way too much for anything of importance. What a waste of a key. Oh well. So our other item room is right over there. Oh, that's a hole. Hey, free armor. Okay, that's pretty good. Maybe I'll forgo buying the health now. This way. He only bounced once, right? No, he actually bounced twice. No, not my armor! I need that for the boss. Okay, we made it. Don't like that my Winchester's out of ammo, but... Not a mimic. M1, I think? M1... Yeah, M1911. It's a acceptable room clear. That's about it. Considering I only have the alien blaster now, wherever it's called. Oh, no, wait, no, I still have the mahogany. I've been forgetting about that. Alien engine. Hmm... The bullets are big. That implies they're strong. Da, 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 da. Don't want to lose my armor. I actually fire this faster if I'm willing to press for every bullet rather than just hold it down. They're all dead to poison sooner or later. That's it, right? No, no, no. I'm hoping for just a little bit more cash so I can buy a half heart before I go in, but at this rate I might end up just losing the armor, which has value, given that it gives you a blank effect. A little bit of stuttering in the game there. I hate when that happens, I'm not sure what causes it. I was, wasn't giving this gun's knockback credit, I think, against certain enemies at least. Also, I didn't realise there'd be more rooms. Ah, I forgot we hadn't seen a chest. There wasn't another key for sale, I bought the only one, so... Ah, I don't want to waste that key. Ah, this room sucks. Was it worth wasting a blank to maintain, well, potentially maintain my armour for the boss? Maybe? Fucking champion! I got my blank back, but that wasn't worth losing armor for. Son of a bitch. Also, I assume there's something hidden over there. God damn it. Well, 
So we'll go into the boss fight, we'll waste the rest of the the vertebrate, and then we'll switch to the mega hand and hope for the best. And then assuming we live to the next floor, we shall make use of the mahogany again. Alright, let's see who we've got. Oh, Cannon Balrog, he's probably the easiest boss for this floor. I'm not saying I'm going to live for sure, just that he is the easiest boss. Where's my Mega Hand at? infinite range with this as well, as long as I do the charge up. It is more an early floor boss a killer, I suppose, but it does good damage. You just can't rapid fire it, which is unfortunate. Gotta roll with him when he does these blasts. I think I hit him there. I still have blank. I've still got bullet time for a start. God damn. That's gonna be the only hit I take as well, I bet. I don't think I've ever quite perfected this guy, even though I find him fairly easy. Just finish up, just, just kill him! Ah! Why not? That should be enough flawless as well. Well, I got armor back. So we have had old Goldie. It's got really crappy range, but good damage. We did not get a key, so we shall go explodinate the other chest. Which has no teleporter near it, particularly. I really hope that we get a gun muncher on the next floor because I've got a lot of guns that are useless just by the fact that I don't have any ammo for them at this point. Now, will we use the Mahogany or Old Goldie as our room clearer? I guess we'll save Old Goldie for the next boss soon when we make it that far because I don't have anything else that works. And we'll use the alien engine if they get close. I think that's my only option here. Our HP isn't terrible, but I mean, I definitely should have. He's the one who fills your ammo, but he takes away your HP, I think, to do it. For now, no. Yeah, I definitely should have flawless the holster. Cannonball Rog, I should have. But it wasn't a case of, like, a, a bad button press or the game not registering my button press screwing me there. That was just. The fight went a bit sour. But yeah, that double holster one, that was me pressing one direction, the game thinking I pressed the other. Don't let him summon! Zombies don't like organic, clearly. Got a lot of money there. I'll be content with just living to floor 5 and finding the forge so I can hand in the Prime Primer. We don't need to have a win here. I dodged that bullet. But I would be... But I want to do something. Hopefully we'll be able to buy some HP in the shop. I think I got everybody there. Apparently I haven't. Shoot him! Dear God. Zombies.
Oh, there must be a summoner guy there. The other guy dead? No. <clears throat> one more good shot should take him out. Yep. Wasn't even a good shot. That was one of the leaves that got him. Ooh, money. Give me my shop and we might be able to live. I hate those guys that just teleport instantly next to you to try and hit you. The, the bullets that look like warriors or whatever. We done? Apparently we are. Might get him. Find the shop soon. No, I found the boss. That's worse. Nope. Nope. Stop the summoner. There we are. Christopher. Give me my shop, damn it. Nope. There's a damage bank that I shouldn't have taken. That was nearly. You're still not dead. Grief. Now, sadly, we're running out of am ammunition for the mahogany. Even if it lasts the rest of this floor, it's not going to last the entirety of the final floor. Not that we need it to, we just need it to last until I find the forge. Maybe. Of course we've had no keys, so we're not getting any items on this floor. He'd already start- oh wait no, it's firing from there, never mind. I thought he'd started casting before I was in the room and hadn't triggered. That is a dead end. We haven't had... no, no, we have had ammo drops. We had two ammo drops in the first floor when all I had was the sawn off. Yeah, that's a chest I can't open, alright. There's our boss, so the shop has to be back here somewhere with the other item room. Ugh. Have I picked up a cursed item? Is that why we're getting death more on this floor? This is a big room. Oh, there's that other bit of in-game slowdown there. I hope they sort whatever's causing that. Hey, we got ammo. Right, I have to think about this stuff. The Vertebrake 47 does such good damage. Or it seemed to, anyway. Have to, I think. We're going to run out of Mahogany, then we're going to use the, the shotgun I picked up to clear rooms, I guess. And we'll use the Vertebrake on the boss if we get that far. Screw skeleton bullet crossbow dicks. Give me my shop, give me a key. Well, we found our other item room. And both chests on the floor are green quality, which is kind of like meh quality. Could be better quality. The third room with death! Can I even get up there? Barely. Screw you. Is it just bad luck that I'm getting all these rooms of death? Because I'm fairly sure even if I have picked up a cursed item, at worst it's like one. A terrible room. And also a waste of my time. I have enough that I could buy like a full heart and a bit of armor. Oh, the shop was connected to this room, so just live. 
I say as it puts a uh, person in a way. Uh, what am I using? I'm using, using this. Put so much in my way that I can't stop the summon of the skeleton. Although actually, I think I did. Maybe one of my acorn. No, one of my acorns bounced. I think. Yeah, this is a super strong shotgun, but its range is crap. Oh, we got a key. Shop first. Please have a gun launcher. Table tech money garbage. Oh god, this shop sucks. So hang on, that would be 60, that would be 76. I don't have enough for armor and a key. Have to take the armor because I want to live. We might, if we live through the boss fight, I might be able to come back and get a key. Magnum five or six. Acceptable room clear. All right, it's come down to this. Oh wait, no, there's still room down there we haven't done, but there's no need to do a full clear. Let's just go for the boss because this is as much HP as it seems like I'm gonna have. Ah, oh, it's the wall. I've only fought the wall once and I lost. I don't know the patterns for this guy at all, so we're probably gonna lose. I need to get more time in with him though, so. I rolled. Am I still on fire? this health bar? Oh, it's over on the right. I can't look at it. It looks too busy concentrating. Oh, this guy sucks. We are going to lose here. Yeah. That boss is awful. Whatever. I hope for... The only good fourth floor boss is the four pillars. The rest of them are garbage. Which is a shame. Seven credits should be enough to unlock something, though. Ooh, an AWP. I want that. In fact, I'm just going to hold on to my money now because I want to unlock the AWP. Hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you next time. Ta-ta for now.